a video of the house. Deck is good. They're a little older. It's probably the house is built in 91. So probably a lot of the stuff is original. I think the roof is. But honestly, if it leaks, I just keep patching it. So it's a modern house, but yeah, I mean, there's a nice steep pitch to it. So I could see it. You know, 31 years old, and there's trees over it, and it's not leaking. I'll get the outside of the property later. space with modern cinder blocks. Okay. This would be like the front door. So it looks like it looked like a little rust like water was getting under it, but it's alright. So it's got a loft. I'd probably put like four twin beds up there. This, there's too much furniture in here, I feel like. Get rid of a lot of stuff because it's a little cluttered. Or put more seating, I guess. Probably put a couch there. Couch here, a full-size couch here. Wood stove, looks like it's in good shape. The sliders look old, but they're good, it's fine, because nobody's living here full time, so. Stone, electric, so it's all electric in here. It's well and septic. The floors are plywood, I think you just stain them. I don't even know if you have to sand them. Just stain them and polyurethane them. Because I think you want it to be rustic. Maybe put some corner pieces on. Um, so here it doesn't have anything. Um, maybe just put some kind of wood ceiling up here. Not even planks, just put up sheets of it because it doesn't need to look perfect. The hot water heater I think is 31 years old. It said in the listing. So obviously if you have controlled temperature, the stuff works. It's a hatch to get to the crawl space. Just get rid of the toilet seat. Maybe paint this stuff. I don't even know. Get rid of the pink thing. I'm making a video, Joe. Baseboard heater here. So I don't know. I guess the wood stove probably heats the main part of the house. And then you got a baseboard heater here. So you can make this into another bedroom. And you put a full size bed there. Windows of wood, they look fine. Okay. So, I don't know. We ate lunch already, Joe. Dinner's at five. So, I need to finish this ceiling off. I guess the drywall, I don't even know if you finish it. I think you just paint it. Or maybe you mud the, the nail holes. Don't even worry about the seams. Any closet. I guess, I don't know why they were making two closets, but not sure what they were doing. But I guess you could finish the closet. What if you put two bunk beds in here? Or a full-size bed with a Actually, no. I guess this you could just maybe put a king size bed in here and then have a full size bed in here. 
and then upstairs have four twin beds. Stairs are kind of nice. Good stairs. I don't know what this was for. Ceiling fans look okay. Four floors again. I just feel like I'd put the four twin beds because you don't have any privacy up here. It's probably loud and you could kind of stick the kids up here. Definitely need to add railing there. There. I'm going to build some shelves or something. Okay. So I didn't see a water conditioning system. So it is a well pump. All right, so I guess I gotta, I'll shut that off. So the part oh, of the breaker. I think it's 200 amps coming in here. Anyway, so the well pump. This is the way we came in. So the highway or the road is that way and it's about a quarter of a mile up here and we make the sharp right up here and we got to go about another quarter of a mile winding around if you go about three quarters of a mile that way is the waterfront with the stream so there are homes so that's not a busy road and then the town is 20 minutes up the road up the highway that way so there is a house right here it's interesting it's got a gate i don't know why but so it's narrow and it's rustic. I like the gravel road, but there are some houses up here. There's one there. There's another one here. I don't think people live here. I think they're all vacation homes though. So it's not like you're gonna really see people. Here we are on a Saturday afternoon in August and nobody's up here. So I don't think it's a big issue. I think, yeah, sometimes there may be people up here, but it's not like, you know, just people coming up for the weekend. So they're all on two acre lots. We would own five like lots and it's a total of 12 acres. So the house is actually up there. So I think we own all this property here, like everything on this side. All right, so the hill the house I was pointing to is up here. Good job. Oh. See, there's the house right there, the cabin. Oh, we'd be buying. You could hear a little road noise because that's the main road down there. But we own all of this. There's a house. It looks like these people might be trying to rent it out because they got these little cabins here, but. I don't know how successful they are. It's on a small piece of property right here. So again, as we come up here, there was one, two houses. And there's us again. So all this property, and it is five building lots. So down the road, 10 years, if we got bored of it, maybe you build five little houses on them or four more little houses and then sell it off. So here's Rustic Lane, which the house is on. I forget what this is called, like Valley Road or something. And I believe there's two more houses. There's one here. So there's really only three houses anywhere near us. And then if you continue on, I think there's another one up there and another one up there, but kind of far off. Here 
There's Rose. There's a video of the property. So I was back down there where I, where I just finished. And then I went up. There was that one house there. And then I went around. This is this is pretty much all our driveway here. So this gravel road we have to maintain. There's a big lot here. The highway's out there. And you can kind of hear road noise every now and then. So it's like a two acre lot there and then another two or three acre lot over here. So looking on the map, this is lot number 11 right here. So, I mean, you don't see anything. The road's down there and it goes down like that. So even for shooting, you'd probably shoot right over it if it doesn't hit a tree. And down here. So with the way we came in, there was the busy road came in and then we turned in somewhere down there and then it was a sharp turn up here but you could hear a little road noise right now so this is our turnaround driveway here the house. there's some deer poop I mean, this is I mean I, there's nothing in sight over here but again a reference that road to come in is like way down there somewhere So yeah, there was the road we were coming in and there was a house there. So there's a house over there. And I was looking at, up at the cabin in the other direction. There's this big valley here. But this is all our property here. So all of this, it's kind of cool how it sits up on a hill. It has lots of potential. Put some camping sites around here. Maybe even, you know, sheds or maybe even a little cottage. All right, we're gonna drive back down to the water. There was the highway. Now we're going. It might be a building lot. My Jeep might be able to get up there, but this truck's not getting up there with my giant wheelbase. It's closer to the water. I'm going real slow, guys, because you scrap. Wow, here. this lot looks like it might have a beautiful water view, or mountain view at least. I don't know if you'd want to come visit in the wintertime. Do you guys see the washout? You can see where the rain comes down and actually. Like, That's really it steep. It in, like, chunks. Yeah. Oh, gosh. It's only so it's a one, exactly a one mile walk from the cabin, so it's gives you something to do when you get there. Or you get like um, bikes or go kart. I don't know how you get up the hill. A with four the bike. I'd be scared they'd go off the cliff with a, I trust with a go kart. Them not go off. I think the branches would catch them. Catch what? Yeah, certain spots are real steep. Catch like if you fell off the. You talk about us? Yeah. What? If you go carted down to the water. Yeah. What's this down here? Wait, where'd the water view go? <laughs> I don't know. Where were we going? What just happened? Well, we're exploring, so I don't know where this road goes. My eyes What's it say? Okay, so here's the water access here. There's a house right there, but the community that has 20 houses, this is their property. 
Now, Joe, I think that's somebody's property. Come here. That's their property. And I think this stick is probably where it ends. I don't know. You, yes, I don't know. You know, it's like by grandma and grandpa's. I don't know if they care if you go over here or if you get to know them. So you'd go right here. All right. So it's kind of nice. It's not super exciting. It's kind of like by grandma and grandpa's. It's nice, but not super exciting. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it looks really pretty. I want to go there. Can I just go over there? 